Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildcraft Reborn, where our wonderful Lynx with the soul of a wolf named Frost, hopefully that's not too confusing to start our wonderful day off with, is feeling very wonderful because he has actually had his family grow. We now have a little kit named Altair born and waiting for us inside of our den, and Star Dancer is so excited to be able to run around and to have the freedom to really get moving again now that she's no longer heavily pregnant and slow as molasses. And we are out to the hunt. We are going to see if we can help our little lynx cub grow up a bit today. Oh, and there's there's the boar and there's the bunnies. We really are having kind of like a boar and bunny battle for the last long while between our lynxes and all of the other spirits of this realm. Oh, look at Star Dancer go. She's like, I can fight again. I'm ready. All right, let's go ahead and pick up this bunny. And we're just gonna carry it back to the den. This is gonna be a little bit tedious to feed our baby until he is strong enough to be able to join us on these adventures. But really, you should expect that it's a little bit more demanding and a little bit of work to be part of a spirit realm, uh, rather than just being able to saunter about and have as much power as you could possibly hope for. All right, let's get up here. There we go. I wish I could bring back something bigger, but I don't think you can. Oh, look at him go! He knows what to do! There you go, little Altair. We'll have to see how much he's going to need. So how much did one rabbit help him? So let's see how much one rabbit helped him. 15%! No! Okay. <laughs> this will definitely take us a little while, but once we get him fed up enough, he will be able to join us out in the open fields, and that'll definitely help. And hey, if we do manage to take out the boar and a couple foxes, well, a lot of foxes, holy days, that quest is quite hefty. Uh, but oh, and hey, there's a fox! We can take him out with Star Dancer's help! Let's do this! But if we manage to take all of them out... Alright, let's get a couple, couple quick blows. I don't think we even landed one blow just then, so that wasn't the best, but look at Star Dancer go. She has really got this. I think we can actually just work together, stun the fox a few times. She really, man, when she wants to fight, she is just intent on fighting. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can actually pick up, unfortunately, the fox and take it back. So that means that at least our older lynxes, our parents can have a bit of a meal. There we go. And at least there's plenty of bunnies around, and we got one little step closer to the quest that we need to establish dominance with our Starry Skies pack, uh, which, you know, that's always a good thing. All right, let's go ahead and get some bunnies. There's so many of them. I can't wait until we can get the little guy out here with us. I think you have to feed him at the den, but maybe, like, actually, that's a good question. Like, did he go up at all? Let's see. Nope, you have to feed him in the den. I was wondering if he maybe had his growth go up the way that we just ran around taking out so many of the rabbit spirits and Star Dancer was able to have her pregnancy go so much faster than we did as a wolf uh, as a result. But maybe I wonder if he'll grow with the experience boost when we can get him out of the den. So if we can convince him to come and join us, which I think happens at the next level. All right, there we go. You know what to do, little guy. So that's gonna get him 30% of the way there. So, let's see. So that's two bunnies, uh, about a little under a third of the way there. So like two, four, six, seven bunnies should do it. Seven bunnies and he should be ready to pop out, I think, and follow us around. All right, let's see. Any more bunnies? They may have left. They may have taken word that we're on the hunt that we have grown, our pack has become larger. What is this? Did they scooch over here? I think they just scooched over here. <laughs> I'm on to you guys. I know you think you can get away, but you know what? I guess since there's so many of them and we can only take one at a time, we might as well just take out all of them and just take back the last one. Here we go. Come on, Star Dancer. Holy, I'm like, wow. She actually went for a separate one because I tagged two of them with my claws. Okay, and now we're going for the final rabbit. Well, let's actually eat. Why not? We should make sure that we have our other lynxes level up too and we don't just focus on feeding the baby. Because when we get to level 20 is when we get to actually add another cub into the family. 
So I do want the parents to be able to grow quicker than they are with our wolves. Wonderful, don't eat that, don't eat that. That's for the baby. And plus we chased the bunny closer to the den this way. Nice, yeah, I think we will make sure to tackle and try to level up our lynxes more than I did for our wolf parents because, I mean, we have to come back over here anyway. There you go, Altar. So that should have him up to 45%, I think. Let's check. Yep, 45%. So a few more bunnies and we'll be able to do about four more bunnies. We can manage that today. That's just, we'll totally have him ready to go. And for those of you who are not familiar with Altar's personality, he actually is, what is that fox? Oh, we need to fight a fox. So this is good. This is good. Just take that little fox. There you go. Wait for Star Dancer to join us. This is why we're able to level up so much faster than our wolves, is because we've got so much speed. We're really able to make a good bit of speed, thanks to Star Dancer's help. And we'll go ahead and deliver a final blow. Boom! Nice! And he leveled up. That's fantastic. And we got a little bit closer on that quest. But for those of you not familiar with Altair, he was a more serious puppy. He was a, a, like a wolf pup. He was quite large too, if I remember correctly. He was always the stronger one of the family. There we go. Maybe get a couple hits off on that deer. Let the buck take a second. Not understand that we're tricking him by trying to stay near spots where Star Dancer can get him. All right. Even though I do find it interesting that they don't turn around to try to fight the one who's actually attacking them, we'll just take advantage of that. Maybe the rage is just so strong between these spirits. And plus, if you know that you're just gonna like pop back up in a few minutes, it makes sense that you wouldn't be too invested in staying alive because you're just gonna, you could just regenerate. So what's the big deal, you know? All right, let's go ahead and take out this bunny. And then, oh, start answer. She is on top of that. And we'll take out this one over here. And who knows, maybe we'll end up with a second lynx before we even get to the point of being able to have a second wolf cub. That would kind of be a little bit dramatic. All right, there we go. Turn around. I think the, oh, there's the other bunny body. Nope, that's just a patch. Oh, no, that was the bunny body, but it's gone now. And we'll take out these two bunnies. And I might have to start moving a little faster and ignoring some of them. Nice. It's just so fast. Do you see Star Dancer just come in there? Boom, look at her. She is merciless. And I think somehow she's become stronger. All right, let's grab this body and we'll take it up to little Altair. I hope we can get him leveled up today though. But yes, in his wolf life, Altair was a pretty serious young cub or pup, excuse me. And he was descended really closely from our very first wolves we ever had in Wolf Quest, Luna and Soul. And they were much more traditionalist. They didn't have any ancestors to really rely on. So they relied on strength and they were a bit more solemn. They really, they took things a little bit more seriously. There you go, little one. Let's let everybody have a little nap for just a minute to maybe make it day. Daytime? Yeah, daytime. But they took things a little bit more seriously. And so I do think that's what Altair is probably going to bring into this Lynx pack is a sense of uh, being, oh, 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 serious and solemn. The foxes, why are they fighting us? More than any of the other things, uh, we have dreamed of foxes with the Lynxes lately too, which I thought was quite interesting. All right, maybe I can take out this one really quickly. Nice, all right, we got that one. Tag this one, so Star Dancer will start fighting it. Slow it down and run because we're about to get completely destroyed by it. Star Dancer, I need to give you more speed. As long as she's fast enough to take out the foxes, that's what matters. All right, and yeah, unfortunately Frost has too much damage. All right, come on, come on. Oh, run! One more bite from the fox and we're down. Yeah, Star Dancer, you get all of the speed if we survive this. And yes! Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I need to give her more speed because she's really good at that. All right, nice. Note to self, 
Star Dancer, we'll give you speed when we have our dreams tonight. Because we should have a little bit stored up from the extra elixirs. Uh, and there's the bunny group. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we won't be able to get him completely leveled up today and out the door. Because I got a little distracted taking out... Oh, that's another fox. Two more foxes. What? Why are they here all of a sudden? Well, I need rabbits. And it appears the bunnies are now... The bunnies have called the fox spirits. This is frustrating. All right, we'll lead this one away because at least we can complete that quest. All right, wait for it and get him. And then wait for it. I think if we work together and stun him quickly enough, we can take this one out when they're isolated like this. Yes, oh, that was a beautiful amount of experience. 700 experience is actually quite nifty. And we completed a portion of the quest to claim this territory that has been laid out. Oh, that's not a bunny. That's a raccoon. All right, we've got to find something small that we can take back to Altair. Maybe we, well, you know, you know, getting closer to having more lynx cubs is a appropriate alternative. Curses. The boar is out. He's so tough. Two boars? Oh man, where'd that squirrel go? Oh, this is just... <laughs> what, a, what a taunting squirrel. Oh, I see another squirrel in the distance. I don't have time to fight boars. I was trying to feed up my baby lynx. I wasn't trying to get to level 20 and have a second lynx just yet. But it looks like that's where we're headed. Also, I think when we dream tonight, we need to give a lot more speed to both of our lynxes because they definitely need a bit more heft to them. Woo, Star Dancer, look at you go. Because being outraced by a squirrel kind of does something to your sense of, no, don't chew that. We need to feed the baby that, there we go. Kind of does something to your sense of strength and power. All right, we don't want to fight that squirrel and we want to run back to the den. I wish there was like special abilities you could get so you could like, teleport back to the den i would pay diamonds for that personally if you could just like teleport back instead of having to run all the way back from the back corners when you're trying to raise a baby because it does take quite a while all right let's climb up here and let's go ahead and feed the little one and then i think we'll go ahead and dream today there you go yeah, didn't quite get him as high level as I thought I would, but that's okay. Maybe it's giving us more time to go ahead. We definitely are closer to leveling up our lynxes than we were with our adult wolves at this stage, which makes me pretty happy, actually. Yes, and we're about 75% of the way there. So three more bunnies or squirrels, and little Altair will be to the next stage of his cub growth and hopefully soon ready to leave the den and come with us. And now let's go ahead and give like a lot more speed <laughs> to both of these two. I think I'm gonna get them both up to four, like 15 speed. I'm gonna increase Star Dancer's power. I'm gonna get her up to 20 speed because I think that she deserves it. And I'm gonna get 20 speed. And I'm gonna go ahead and increase power on Frost and Star Dancer because I think that they, they both need to be a little bit more powerful. They're definitely more of a team. Whereas with Lynx the Wolf, with our wolf pack here in Wildcraft, they tend to be more of a like, uh, you know, Lynx tends to lead uh, and kind of defend, but Serena really likes to focus on the pups in the den, but their child Fawn definitely wants to be very strong, uh, so that'll be interesting to see. But all right, it is time for these three to go ahead and have their dreams of the Starry Skies ancestors for the night, and in the future, I've been thinking the Starry Skies ancestors might be giving them some ultimate chest to check out every uh, every so often so definitely keep an eye out for whoever might dream of that in the future to you but tonight it will be the normal chest and we shall be dreaming with frost his dream is going to be of <gasps> you can put you can put accessories on your pets you can put accessories on your pets what oh my gosh we have a legendary accessory for a pet we don't even have yet. I am so excited. Oh my goodness gracious. 
What a weird thing to dream about, by the way, Frost, but I'm not going to question you. And he dreamed of that hat, that cowboy hat we dreamed of a few days ago. So that's pretty hilarious, too. And a little bit more elixir to help us out with that speed and strength combo. Star Dancer is going to dream of... Dun, 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 dun. A pet, baby? Oh, wow! Star Dancer dreamed all bear stuff. So we have some new clothes we dreamed of for the bears, the eyes for the bears, which we already had, and a different color of cowboy hat for the bears. What is up with you guys wanting Grandpa Atlas to wear a cowboy hat, honestly? And then finally, with little Altair having joined us, he is going to have his very first dream. Let's go ahead and see what our little cub's first dream is. Okay, all bears. He's just... <laughs> In fact, all duplicate bear items. Huh. Well, I guess he's thinking about growing up to be big and strong for sure. So that's interesting. We can at least go ahead and give a little bit more power. Let's give a lot of power to Star Dancer. I feel like she kind of leads the way in a lot of ways. And I'm going to give one speed to Frost because I think that he's beginning to realize being a fast Wolf is a very cool thing, and one day, one day, we will get a pet, which will be amazing. Uh, but we dreamed of pet clothing, which is definitely cool, and we had our very first little lynx cub dream. And keep a, uh, an eye out, guys, because I do think that every five dreams or so, the Starry Skies ancestors might give a very special set of chests to whoever we happen to be with, to the pack, so that they can continue to grow and develop even faster than they currently are. So, if you guys could, do please leave a little bit of food by leaving a like for little Altair, who still has not left the den. Let me know what you think about the developments, the dreams in particular, and seeing how the dreams and the randomization of what's inside of the dream chest affects the personalities of our, our characters. I really, really love that. Let me know what you guys think about that. And if you have not yet become a star in our Starry Skies Ancestor Sky, do please consider subscribing and joining us for so many more adventures. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.